So we have recharge. So it's like you've released something. You have a clear mind. You're able to breathe again. Now, whatever it is that you have released, this could be something that overwhelmed you, could have weighed you down, or if this could be something that drained you. Yeah. But today is like you're living in the moment or you're this you're just focused on the present things. You're not stuck in the past. You're focused on what's going on now. This could be what you want to manifest now. And you're in a good energy. Yeah, you could have released a toxic, like, person. I'm hearing combative. Something, somebody that, this is someone who likes to argument. I mean... <laughs> Who likes to argue with toxic being here? You've released drama. Yeah, you're at peace. And then you have masculine energy. So this could be a masculine energy that you've released. Or you could be someone. Um, this could have been a father figure. Oh, masculine energy. And then you have intimacy unity so somebody wants to reunite with you now that a toxic cycle is over this is someone who has mutual respect for you this is definitely a masculine energy or they're in their masculine energy this is someone that is very disciplined they're like a father figure or mother figure take it where it resonates but this is definitely a masculine energy um this is someone who could want to develop a relationship with you with closeness being here or this is someone that you're close to They have a lot of respect for you. There's mutual respect. You have a lot of respect for this person. You have paranoid. Now somebody is paranoid. This could be because whoever this masculine energy is, is someone who wants to um, unite with you or be close to you. You have daydreaming, and then you have boundaries. So somebody is upset because an illusion has broken. If they had another person like in a daze, they set boundaries with them. Somebody is standing up defending their self. And they're very guarded when it comes to this person. This person is someone who is... um. They're insecure about this. They know this person does not trust them. They know that they have burned their bridges. And this person could be paranoid because they feel like everybody has turned their back on them. And this is after this masculine energy walked away and set boundaries. Yeah. Oh, wow. You got, <laughs> this is crazy. You have psychopath, salty, and two-faced it. So this is someone who was a backstabber. They lived a double life. They like to smile in people's face, stab them in the back. Um, this person is salty because they thought that they were getting away with something. They thought they were unpredictable. People would never figure them out. This is someone that was very cunning, very conniving. And there, this person is salty. Yeah, you have nightlife. They're salty because someone has released them. This could be someone that you've released or whoever this masculine energy is that is wanting to um, connect with you. They've recharged. They've released this person. This was someone that was like a toxic partner that they were attached to. And for a long time, they didn't know what this person was off into with nightlife and mass being here. It was something that was hidden about this person with nightlife being here. Like if this is someone that they were attached to during the day, they don't know what that person was doing at night. Whatever they were doing, it was to keep this person like stuck.
Yeah, you got bad karma played out in cyberbully. Bad reputation. Yeah, somebody feel like whoever this person is was someone who had a bad reputation and it was ruining their reputation. Whoever this masculine energy is. Because it's like whatever this person was doing, they found out somebody could have reached out to this person that was close to the person that they like detached from and told them something that they were doing at night. Yeah. Something that was hidden. This could be someone who had multiple people with cheater and double um double life backstabber that they were seeing if this was a connection where this was like a um relationship they found out they were being cheated on and this energy thought that they were clever um that person would never find out and i'm getting that this masculine energy found out and they just walked away they didn't give that person any explanation and this person was kind of angry and salty and started being petty Doing a lot of things that was hidden with mass and stagnant being here to keep that person stuck. Yeah. You have dirty offer. So, yeah, this is someone that was definitely sleeping with multiple people. And they did something to have that person like hooked on them. This dirty offer could be, you know, something that is just unclean. This could have been a black magic, um, some type of black magic or some type of spell work that they didn't know was being placed over them to keep, keep them hooked on this person. Yeah. And if they know that this person is someone who um, feels this way about you, they want to be close to you or they just have a lot of respect for you. Um, they got salty. Like this person started watching you online because I see cyber bully and fishing for comments. Something that you do online, something that you post online. Um, this person is like under the post trying to create some type of confusion. They're trying to get your attention, but other people attention as well. Yeah, and it's because they know how this person feels about you. Yeah. They feel like if they can get your attention, they would be able to get this person's attention. So they could be trying to like feed off of your energy, pull on your energy to get that person's attention, get the atten get whatever attention that this person is paying to you off of you and on them. Now, this could be a lot of people that are trying to get this person's attention that's into you. Take it where it resonates. It could be more than one person or it's one person that's paranoid. Because they were using some type of magic and then it's a lot of other people that are trying to get this person's attention. But they're into you. It's like one person is salty, they're bitter, they're angry because they thought they were going to keep that person coming back toward them. With some type of dirty offer. Something that they had not offered up. They could have gave to that person unbeknownst to them and they didn't know this could be a gift this could be some type of food a drink take it where it resonates yeah it was a drink always partying is here but this is just um confirmation that they used to drink with this person they used to party with that person they could have slipped something in that person's drink and they didn't know yep we got travel, and then you have uninterested, and you have shine. So there was some type of trip, 
that could have took place with travel being here, it made them uninterested. It's like once somebody came back from a trip, they were no longer interested in whoever this energy is. It's like a spell broke. Some type of illusion broke. And they didn't want anything to do with that person anymore. Something just got played out. Something was over. And somebody has been hating on you ever since. They don't like the way that you shine. Your light irritates their demons. Now, there could be something that you did with this person. There could have been a trip that you went on with this person. Take away, resonate, whoever this masculine energy is. Yeah. And they feel like they, they haven't been able to, like, confuse this person anymore. Yeah, cock blocking is here. They feel like it was blocked off. Whatever they had been given to that person, it backfired. It was returning to sender. This could have been some type of encounter as well between you and this masculine energy. You have an offer, yeah. This is someone who definitely have been trying to make sure this person does not come towards you with a genuine offer. Um, they don't want it to be any type of mutual offer between you and that person. Like they don't want you to offer that person anything. They don't want them to offer you anything. If these were spells and magic, somebody felt like they had the power to use some type of magic or some type of spell to make sure they could cock block you. Cock block this person. And it has all backfired. Yeah, and somebody is hurt. Somebody is angry. Because it's like with psychopath being here, this person have made up in their mind that whatever they were doing was not going to come out or come onto surface. And they had made up in their mind that nothing would backfire. They would get away with everything that they would do, that they were doing. Wow. We have gossip and unfinished business. So <laughs> it's like somebody with Patty being here, they started spreading a lot of rumors, a lot of gossip, a lot of lies about you that were not true, hoping that they can get that person to come towards them and they will feel like there's some type of unfinished business between them, them and um, whoever this person is, this masculine energy. They definitely felt like this would make that person be afraid of what other people would think. You know, they're spreading all of this gossip around this person, around people that are in their circle. And a lot of people would believe this gossip. And this would make this masculine energy fear coming toward you. Yeah, there's a soul contract. That they knew you had with this person. This was to confuse them. Confuse you. Confuse a lot of other people. Yeah, indecisive. This was supposed to have a lot of people blinded from the truth, unsure. Make sure this person avoided you. Other people could have encouraged them. Hey, you need to avoid that person. Don't go around that person. Did you hear this about this person? You hear what was said? This is supposed to make this person be fear you, run away from you, would escape being here. This is sad. Like somebody thought that they had, they were unpredictable. They had everything. This is someone who thought they had everything figured out. 
not realizing they were confused, they would not be able to predict the outcome. Yeah, because there's a new chapter. Yeah, this could be you. You could have definitely moved on from this situation. And if you've started a new chapter in life, whoever the person is that you have this soul contract with, this person was learning a lesson and this has helped them to release, recharge, and focus on a new chapter as well. Yeah, somebody definitely realized that a lot was done to confuse them. You have habits. Now, this person could have had some type of habits. This could have been a drug habit, an alcohol addiction, or something like that. And they feel like this is, this is why they were confused. This is why they ran from this connection in the past. They definitely could have just ignored you, avoided you. And it was because of um, these habits. They kind of like clouded their vision. They didn't have a clear mind. They weren't able to discern the confusion. Yeah, I haven't given up on us. So you have hope. This could be you. This could be that person. Could be both. Um, but somebody hasn't given up on this connection. Somebody still has hope. Even though a lot of confusion took place. You have responsibilities to, popping out in the reverse. Somebody is upset because they were no longer focused on. Um, somebody is this person that, that created this confusion is upset because this masculine energy was not going to take care of their responsibilities. There was something that they needed this masculine energy to do, take care of, focus on. And focusing on you made them release a burden, a responsibility that they felt like was not their own. If they were able to emotionally manipulate this person in the past, get them to feel sorry for them, give them money, take care of this person, um, nurture this person, be genuine to this person, they couldn't do it anymore. It got to the point where it was just overwhelming. They were stressed out trying to take care of this person's responsibilities, their responsibilities, things that they should have been focusing on. It's like everything was piling up. It became too much pressure. So they released this person. Yeah. And this is someone who knew why they were being released. They know that they sabotaged the connection with whatever dark magic that they were using, whatever spells that they were using. They immediately knew that it was backfiring. Once they fully released that person, this masculine energy felt like they sabotaged the connection that they wanted to have with you. Because they were able to break free from this illusion of confusion. You know, somebody is realizing whatever was said about you was just made up. A lot of things that were made up, um, there was no proof, there were no facts. Yeah, and they're wanting to tell you or talk to you with, I haven't told you everything. Then you have guilty. So maybe there, this was supposed to be a secret. This gossip that was going on, um, going around about you and they didn't tell you. They're feeling guilty. They feel like they should have opened up, expressed this to you, said something to you. But if these are things that did not apply to you, they didn't bother you. You weren't supposed to hear about these things. You were too busy focused on a new chapter. Somebody is realizing whatever these rumors were, this gossip was, it only left them stuck and confused, not you. Because as soon as they ran from the connection or could have avoided you, you started a new chapter. Yeah. They definitely want to reveal the truth to you. 
Yeah. Actions speak louder than words. If you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. So they're definitely realizing that actions speak louder than words. Whatever you were doing, however you were feeling, um, I mean, whatever you were doing, this person seen how you felt. I'm hearing unbothered. You didn't allow any of this to bother you. Because these were secrets. And somebody wanted to make sure this didn't get to you. They wanted to make sure that person did not communicate with you. Or, you know. They wanted to make sure that person did not tell you. Because they didn't want the illusion to break. Somebody feels like every time this person comes around you, an illusion breaks. They're able to see clear. But I'm getting being away from you is what helped this person to gain a lot of clarity. It helped them to realize that they were confused and they sabotaged the connection if they believed what was being said. We have patience. Yeah, and I'm getting at this time, a lot of things need to be dealt with before this person could come towards you. So they, when they ran, it's like they were being blocked off, but they didn't know this. This person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. So this is your twin flame. And jealousy from other people um, were definitely a major obstacle to the success of this connection. There's unconditional love between you and this person. The love that you share with this person is eternal. Nothing can erase it. Nothing can remove it. Nothing can block it off. No matter how distant you are physically from that person. Nobody can take that away from you and this person. This is your twin, the other half of you. No third party situation can block off um, this connection. This was definitely a third party situation, a third party interference that was dimming its full potential of the connection that you and this masculine energy, which is your twin flame share. Now, whoever your twin flame is, this is someone who definitely needed to put their self first. They didn't feel good about their self. Once they realized the truth, they were in regret. And it's like they needed to forgive their self because they realized they had sabotage. They were like in this self-sabotaged energy. This card says, put yourself first. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. So if they were trying to manifest you, they just felt like they weren't good enough for you because they weren't putting their self first. And as I said, there was a lot of things that needed to be dealt with before this um, connection could manifest fully. Forgive and release. And then you have letting go. Whoever your twin is, they have unconditional love for you. The love that you and that person share is genuine. You've helped them to realize they can overcome any obstacle, any issue that comes their way. You've helped them realize they're stronger than what they think. They're stronger when they carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. So for a long time, they could have been upset. Or I'm getting that whatever was being done to you or said about you behind the scenes, you're someone that you don't hold on to things, especially if you know that these are things that are not true. Um, you're not going to dwell on them. You're a very forgiven type of person. And they've realized through you 
that they are stronger when they carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. You've helped this person to release a lot of things that they didn't never think that they would release with letting go being here. Yeah, this card says if someone leave you confused more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. Yeah. So if the this was meant to confuse you and your twin, this uh gossip, these rumors, these lies, that confusion went right back to whoever this energy is. This person that was playing some type of petty game. Because it's like you're no you're not confused. Your twin is no longer confused. They're realizing this person tried to confuse them about you. Other people are realizing this as well. Yeah. Yeah, judgment. And a lot of people could be talking about that person because these are the same people that were talking negative about you, gossiping about you. And this was some type of spell that this person thought they cast on you. A spell of confusion. Yeah, so a lot of people are realizing that they were tricked. A lot of people are realizing that they misjudged you. They feel like this person is upset because you could have said something about that person that was true. Something that you said, something that you exposed. Is what made a certain person, it made them paranoid. This person feared whatever you said. If you exposed whatever they were doing to keep this um your twin stuck, this is why they did what they did. Yeah, you have the Six of Pentacles, and then you have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person felt like they were going to stop your twin from coming towards you to give to you. They were going to stop them from um, manifesting their equal or having equal give and take. This is something that they were jealous of, angry about. Because they couldn't match your twin's energy. Whatever they were given to, whatever your twin was given to them, it wasn't equal to what they were given to your twin. Yeah, three of swords. This is somebody who definitely thought that they were going to hurt you with some type of rumor, some type of lies. Um, after a separation took place. This would just leave you at a stalemate and your divine counterpart at a stalemate. Yeah, but everything backfired. It definitely helped your twin to walk away from illusions and things that are not serving purpose in their life. Things that they have tried so hard to... Um, cut ties with and they weren't successful in the past because the same things that they were trying to cut ties with were, were blocking them off it was stopping them from being focused or having the strength and the courage to move forward these were lessons that they needed to learn and these were hard lessons but they finally walked away yeah, three of wands. Somebody finally made a decision to walk away. And they've learned whatever lesson they needed to learn. Yeah. Somebody has been um, four of swords, ten of pentacles, and the hangman.
Somebody has been recovering from all of this. This is definitely your twin. Um, they've turned inward for their future. They're focusing on this Ten of Pentacles, the things that they want to manifest in their future. They definitely have a different mind, um, a different mindset, and they have a whole new perspective about life. Like whoever this person is, this was definitely a karmic soulmate. This person got angry. They were heartbroken because they, as I said, this is someone who felt like they were unpredictable. And if they were playing in your twin's energy and they felt like they went up your twin, they would never know. They didn't think you were the last person that they thought would be the one to blow the whistle on what they did. To have your twin in the Six of Pentacles energy constantly given to them. Being genuine to them. This caused a spiritual awakening at a perfect time. Yeah, at a time that they could have been having a lot of money problems. And their main focus was material things. Because whoever they were attached to, their main focus was material things, material attachments, finances, what they can get out of your divine counterpart. Yeah. This was definitely someone that they broke up with. And it was because they realized... This person was a blockage towards their finances. They could not take care of this person and their responsibilities. Yeah, and they just started focusing on healing. Progressing, improving their own life. Yeah, you have regret popping out in the reverse. It's like they're not they're not regretting the fact that they chose to focus on healing. I'm hearing men and their connection with God. Yeah, healing old wounds as well. This could be past life trauma. Yeah, they weren't going to apologize for focusing on their self with regret popping out in the reverse. Yeah, somebody definitely was at a crossroad. And they could be still in this energy, stuck at a crossroad. They don't know what to do. This person don't know if they should move forward or if they should keep um, focusing on whoever your twin is in the connection that they have with you. Yeah, surrender. It's like somebody has no choice but to release the need to try to control something they never had control over. Yeah, because the truth is out. I'm on a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. So they're on a spiritual path because of you. Whatever you exposed to them definitely woke them up. It gave them clarity. And also the strength and the courage to break free from this illusion. This is someone who knows that they messed up, but they don't know what to say to you or how to make things right. So they could be trying to figure out, you know, how to approach you. 
But this is someone who wants to see you bad. I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you bad. I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. So they want to be in a commitment with you. They feel like they couldn't give you what they wanted or give to you how they wanted to um, because they were still in a state where they needed to mature. They needed to heal from their past, move on from their past and focus on recharging their energy and being in the present moment. You closing out a chapter and just starting a new chapter in life has helped them to start a new chapter. Okay, so this card says choice is the most powerful tool you have. Every choice you make shuts some doors, but also opens several. Bringing new experiences into your life at any given time, you can change the direction of your life. You are only one choice away. So this is someone who is realizing they had to make a decision. They had to use their own intuition. 